morning and welcome to Sarah's Stamping Retreat. Today we're going to create this lovely little window box with the peony on it. And this peony is from a stamp set from the new catalogue called Prized Peony. So this is the um, stamp that we're going to use today and then it's got this um, really large peony um, and some sentiments and a few little bits and pieces. So this is a lovely little box um, with a window top so you could use it to display something um, pretty that you're going to give someone um, like a scarf or candles, probably even put a cupcake in it. So we're going to start by creating the base of the box and this sheet of petal pink cardstock is eight and a quarter inches square and we're going to score it at two and a quarter inches on each side. While I've got my scoreboard out, I'm just going to score the lid as well. So I've got a piece for the lid that's five and three quarter inches square. And I'm going to move it just slightly away from the edge of the scoreboard. Um, and that helps the, the lid fit on the box. And then I'm going to score it at half an inch and one inch. And I'm going to do that on each side. Then if we bring back in the base and my trimmer, you could do this with a pair of scissors as well. I'm just using the trimmer for accuracy. And if you don't have a scoreboard and you've got a trimmer like this, you could use the trimmer for the scoring as well. I just quite like using the scoreboard because it's really quick to do all the, all the lines. So I'm just going to line up my score line, my two and a half inch score line with the cut. And then I'm just going to cut to two and a half inches, so you can see that on my um, ruler. And I'm going to make one cut in each corner, so I'm just going to keep on rotating it and cutting it. So now I've got a cut on each of the four corners. So I'm just going to use my scissors to cut probably about a centimetre away, um, half an inch away-ish from the um, score line so that I've got a little flap on each corner. And then I'm just going to cut a little notch into each of the sides of the flap. Then I'm just going to fold on all of the score lines. And then I'm just going to put a bit of tear and tape on each of the flaps. Just want to make sure that it's quite close to the fold on each of the flaps. to take off each of the pieces of tear and tape. I'm just going to line up the folder with the edge. And then that's the base of our box completed. So I'll take that out and we'll work on the lid. So this is our scored piece that we did before. So we're just going to cut out this, um, some of the scored squares in each, in each corner so that you get this step. Now you just want to cut down one side of the remaining piece to create a flap. just want to do that in each corner create the step and then create a flap it doesn't matter which side you cut down just as long as you only cut down one of the sides you don't cut it off and then we're just going to cut notches down each side of the little flap on each corner And 
Then we're just going to go around and cut notches on each of these edges. So you just cut a notch up to the first score line. And that just helps it fold better when we come to fold in the lid in. So then to create the window in the top of the box, I've just got the largest of the squares from the layering squares dies. And I'm just going to place this in the center of the lid. Um, and then I'm just going to go and die cut that and then I shall come back. Then we've got our lid with the square in the middle. So I've cut a piece of window sheet. I don't know if you can see it on the camera that's just over three and a half inches square. And I'm just going to put some tear and tape on the back of the lid, just right around the, the square. So just while we're on the tear and tape, I really like the Stampin' Up! one because it's really super sticky. Um, it's £6.50 in the UK, so it, it, you can get cheaper ones, but there's 25 metres on this, so it lasts you ages. So then I'm just going to fold all of the score lines. I'm just going to put a little bit of extra tear and tape on each of these small flaps like this you can use liquid adhesive but I do prefer to use the tear and tape just because it sticks instantly you don't have to wait for it to dry and like I say it is really sticky so it holds really well And then I'm just going to fold that so that the score fold butts up against the edge of the box. And then I'm going to put more, more tear and tape on the inside of all of these flaps. And then I'm just going to fold them over and that will reinforce the lid of the box, just make it a bit stronger. lid so now we're going to just do our decorations so you can see here I've got three of the stamps from the prize peony stamp set set up on my stamparatus so I'm just going to stamp them all at once I've just got a scrap of whisper white cardstock here I'll just stick that down with the magnet and then I've got my basic grey ink and I'm just going to ink up the stamps and then fold them down See, I've lost half my um, peony there, so I'm just going to ink it up again. There we go, I'm happy with that image now. I'm just going to take those out and colour them. So I'm just going to use the light smoky slate and the petal pink duo um, for this. So. I'm just going to colour the leaves in the smoky slate and I'm not even going to do any shading or anything, I'm just going to colour them flat because actually the stamp set does a lot of the shading for you, it's got darker lines in there and because I'm just doing a grey on top of a grey, actually that adds a lot of the shading for me. 
and then with the peony I'm going to take the darker of the um, the dark petal pink and I'm just going to colour in on the dark bits of the flower on the image and so on this kind of image the um, the actual stamp really helps you Now I'm just going to colour over with the light colour. It's important to remember to use your dye based inks for colouring with stamping blends or any other alcohol markers. It means that the image won't smudge when you're colouring if you colour over the lines. There are actually some dyes that go with this stamp set. So this is the Peony Garden Suite in the catalogue and you can see there are some really gorgeous samples and the dyes that come with it cut around the flowers. Um, they also create these layered flowers here. So you can see in the back, um, these are the ones that cut out the flowers here. And there's some layered leaves. These bits create the layered flowers and then there's a scalloped edge as well. Um, I'm not going to use the dies for this because I want to cut around because I don't want this white edge around my um, flower for this one. I use that on a lot of my projects but not for this one. Well, I wanted to show you because it's actually cheaper if you want both the stamp and the dies to buy them as a bundle. You get 10% off both the stamp and the dies if you buy them as the bundle. So if you were going to buy the stamp set and then later want the dies, it's better to buy them both together. So I'm going to link below to the stamp set individually in case you just want to buy the stamp set. But I'm also going to link to the bundle, um, even though we're not going to use the dies on this particular project. So like I say, I don't want the white edge, so I'm just going to fussy cut around the images. On this one I'm just going to go back in in the centre and just add in a little bit of the dark daffodil delight colour just to kind of lift that centre a little bit. So then the other thing that I like to do is either take um, my alcohol marker or a stamping right marker and just run it around the edge of my um, images just to give it a nice edge so you don't see any of the white and I think that's a really nice thing to do especially on like a gift box just to give it that little finishing touch and the darker edge will help it stand off the box as well just make sure that when you're doing this you don't do it too close to the tip because if you do it close to the tip it might ruin the tip so I'm going to bring it back in my box base I can put the lid on there so we've got the lovely wind I lid and then I'm just going to lay out my flowers my flower and my leaves on there so then I'm just going to glue the leaves in place And then I want to pop up the flower, but I don't want to be able to see the dimensionals inside the box. So I'm just going to be very careful about laying them around the outside. So I've got the mini dimensionals today. I'm just going to pop them around. Just this little bit of flower. So then we stuck our flower on and that's the end of our project. So I hope you enjoyed our project today. If you did, please press like, 
and please subscribe to my channel to see future projects. If you'd like to purchase any of the products that we use in today's project, they're all linked in the description below. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.